Hello everyone, this is Shimmy. In light of recent news of the uh, Mars Curiosity rover landing uh, successfully on the surface of Mars, I've decided to do another orbiter video. Uh, where are we heading? Well, I bet you can guess. We're headed to Mars. So, in this video, I'm going to try and recreate the time frame that it took for the Curiosity rover, the Mars Science Laboratory, to get to Mars. And our launch date here in this simulation is November 26, 2011, the same as the Curiosity rover. So, it is just after dawn. I need to speed up time just a little bit before we, uh, before we launch. I've already set up our, uh, our plan and everything before uh, recording here. And uh, all we have to do is go ahead and launch. Um, I just want to say I haven't really practiced anything uh, for this uh, launch. Uh, just kind of an impromptu video that I'm doing here. So we'll see how far I can get. See if we can uh, get to Mars in one shot here. So let's just go ahead and speed up time uh, a few hours. Alrighty, we are currently two minutes before launch. Uh, we're just going to go due east for our heading, our initial heading. Uh, I like to say that the um, the XR2 has extra fuel and extra oxygen in order to get us there. At least I, I set that up. Hopefully that's set up properly. And uh, I'll go ahead and do the standard uh, scram uh, ascent and get into orbit and that should get us into a parking orbit that we can do our um, our burn towards uh, Martian uh, the, the Martian trajectory so I'll go ahead and do that right now I'll go ahead and turn on my APU turn my airflow Hitch. air f air surfaces on. turn off the external cooling on board O2 and I think that is good. My heading says here is 90 degrees, so due east. I don't think I'll need to go any other direction other than that. Oh, hang on. Close. Heading of 89.8. So due east is good enough. So I can go ahead and launch right now. I think we should be perfectly fine. Make sure I've disconnected everything first. You don't want to leave with the gas, uh, the gas plug in. So let's go ahead and go. Turn to 90 degrees here. So gain altitude. I know you've seen this before. This is always kind of tricky. Do it just on a keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and gauge my attitude hold autopilot here and I'll go ahead to send to our scram altitude and scram speed and we'll go ahead and do that
Alrighty, so we are almost in orbit. We are have entered or exited the Earth's atmosphere. Um, uh, my fuel usage is not as as nominal as I would have hoped. Twenty uh, six. I had to use a significant amount of main fuel in order to get to this point. Um, I used up all my scram fuel really quickly. I don't know if that was due to I made a mistake in leaving. Um, my RCS thrusters are running um, accidentally. I accidentally hit the kill rotation button. I didn't realize it halfway through my ascent. Um, so that might have something to do with it. Or it just could be the fact that my sh ship is heavier than I had anticipated. So right now I'm going to go ahead and deploy the extra fuel in my cargo bay here. I've already spent it, so I don't need this tank weighing down my ship. The other one you see there, the blue one, is the oxygen. Payload deployed. And just go ahead and close the payload doors again. Already deployed my radiator and retro doors, and that should be it. So I can turn off my APU in just a moment. Okay, that should be good. So, next, next uh, piece of business is just uh, getting a full orbit in our parking orbit. And then after that, we'll go ahead and do our burn towards Mars. Alrighty, we are now in orbit. So, now what we gotta do is figure out exactly when we need to burn. That's pretty easy with our navigation computers here. So we will, I think we'll be doing a burn here. Not too long, uh, less than half an hour. So we'll go ahead and uh, speed up time until then, and we'll go ahead and do our burn. All right. I believe we are currently over Africa right now. We are close to our burn under under 10 minutes before we uh, go ahead and burn towards Mars. So if we just go ahead and zoom out, I believe we can get a better shot of where we are in the world. Yep, there we are, over Africa. Um, we are probably going to be burning about yay right here, um, just right before Madagascar, I think. And that will send us on to a trajectory that will take us towards Mars. Alrighty, we are currently 30 seconds before we start our burn. We are currently lined up. We are actually just right over Madagascar. And we are ready to start burning in 20 seconds here. As you can see, my velocity vector and the angle that I'm pointing is relatively close. Um, if if my uh, if my launch and uh, ascend was perfect, they'd be lined up perfectly. But you know, uh, if you're if you're flying stick, can't be perfect. But this is close enough. So we've got over 200 seconds of burn time. Uh, when that is done, we'll see how see how well the burn went, and uh, see how close we're getting to Mars so far. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, so our main engine burn uh, for a trans Martian uh, intercept is complete, and we are now just going to need to find out how close we ended up. So hopefully, um, hopefully everything went okay. You know, uh, you got to trust these computers to know what they're talking about. Let's go ahead. 
can see we're on an escape trajectory from Earth here. Let's go ahead and pull up our map referencing Mars. Okay. Okay, we're we're getting cl we're close. We're we're um but we're not hitting Mars yet. Now, this map program does not it's not perfect, especially when there are other uh, things that to take account for, such as the Earth's gravity and, and, and you leaving that sphere of influence. So we are going to wait until our ship has left the uh, sphere of influence of the Earth, and then we will go ahead and do our first course correction to find out uh, you know, how close we can get to it from where we are right then. So we'll all go ahead and uh, see you then.